Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. Today we are also going to talk about Docker. And subject for today is how to create interactive process and how to kill some process that you don't want running anymore. And we are going to use project from previous episode. I'm just going to uh, list the content of this directory. You see that I have uh, main.py. We are going to edit this file now with uh, nano main.py and I want to make some changes in here. I'm going to create a variable value and I'm going to set value to zero. Then with while true we are going to uh, create infinite loop and now uh, I want to uh, read value from standard input into variable call it val but I want to cast that value to integer all right like this now I am going to add this uh, val to value so plus equals val and I want to print that out, but format it like this. Let's say sum is and value. All right, so what this app is going to do, whenever we add some uh, new value through standard input, our app is going to add that value to already created sum of values, or better to say sum of all previous values. Okay, I'm going to write this out, going to exit. Now we are going to uh, test this application with python3 main.py. Let's see, I'm going to say 89, some it's 89, 78, uh, 65 and so on. Now in order to break out uh, from this application, I'm going to click Ctrl Z and I'm going to clear my screen. And now I'm going to build docker image from this. So I'm going to use sudo docker build t. I'm going to call this application some app and we are going to use local directory as source. All right, we have it. Now I'm going to run sudo docker image ls. And as you can see, I have uh, some app in my list. But what is going to happen if I try to run this image? So with sudo docker run some underscore app. You see, end of file error. That is because this app uh, demands standard input and we are not running in interactive mode. In order to solve that problem, first I'm going to clear my screen. Now I'm going to use sudo uh, docker run some underscore app, but I'm going to provide key i. This stands for interactive. No, sorry, i needs to be before name of my app. All right, now it works. Now, if I uh, provide some number, you see, I'm going to get response. All right, but now how to get out from this app? What we can do to close this app? First way is to provide a keyboard interrupt. So with control C, I'm going to run it again. You see, it works. So second way uh, is to create an error. So if your app contains some uh, broken code or that in some way you can uh, create some internal error, because of that, Docker is going to automatically kill your app. So how I'm going to produce uh, an error in this case, I'm going to provide some value that cannot be turned into integer. Now, if I press enter, you see my app is killed. And third way is to kill your app manually. So I'm going to run this app once again and let's test it. All right, everything works. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another tab uh, in my terminal. I'm going to uh, run SSH to my Ubuntu server once again. And first let me clear my screen and check this out. I'm going to run command sudo docker ps. And with PS, we are going to get a list of uh, running processes. As you can see, my uh, SAM app is running with command python main.py. 
it's created 37 seconds ago and uh, its status it's it's a running for 36 seconds now in order manually to kill this app you are going to type sudo docker stop and we have to provide not name of this image but container id so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it in here and i'm going to press enter now don't be surprised sometimes uh, this is a not fast process and we are done let's see uh, this uh, tab once again and as you can see my uh, docker image is killed so guys that's all for this episode i hope that you learned something new and interesting so please like subscribe and see ya